Hey guys, Kimberly here, and I wanna share something with you today that will blow your mind. My friend, Melissa Copeland, shared this in one of my leadership groups about creating your own landing page, kind of like Linktree or Tap Bio, but you creating it in Canva, so you have 100% design control, which is amazing. So if you have your favorite colors or your favorite fonts, you can make your landing page yours specifically to you. So you don't know what I'm talking about, just for example. So here is my Facebook, okay? So let's say that if you go down to, same thing with Instagram, right? There's a link there. You have a place for your link and look, look how awesome it looks. So these are all the links and anytime you edit it in Canva, it'll edit it here. So as soon as I update any of these links, the next time someone clicks on it, it'll be the correct link. So I wanna show you how to do this because it's brand new in Canva. Now I will tell you, with this, you have to have Canva Pro, which is the paid version of Canva. If you don't already have the paid version of Canva, this is me imploring you to get Canva Pro. It is amazing. There are so many amazing features that they're coming out literally every day. I'm going to show you a couple of them here today. Um, but it is literally my best business expense ever. And you can quote me best business expense ever. So let me minimize myself and I will show you exactly how to do what I just showed you. As soon as you come to canva.com, you're going to see some templates. Uh, I like to use either any either of these stories, your story or the Instagram story. You can see the pixels. The pixels there, that is the perfect pixel ratio for a cell phone. So that is what you're going to want. There's no guesstimating. There is nothing. So let's choose Instagram story. Now, if you see something over on the left-hand side over here, there's tons of templates. So if you see one, see like these, they already have little boxes. If you see some that you like, go for it, right? It's going to make it easier on you. For me, I like to have it be 100% my design. So I like to start from scratch. So I'm going to show you kind of my thought process on how that works. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to go to backgrounds and I like to look for like either patterns or gradients because I like to have texture on the background. I think I like this Looks like ice crystals. Okay, and from here, I'm gonna go over to elements and I'm going to search for gradient. Okay, gradient. If you don't know what gradient means, it means transferring from like one color to another. And so I like to choose like this square and this is, this is fine. So I am going to make this as big as the background. So I'm gonna come up here in the top under transparency, I'm gonna lower it just a little bit so that way you can see the background come through. Now, here's where the fun part comes in. This is where you can choose what links do you want people to click. So let's say you have a, a catalog, right? And so I like all of my things to be capitalized. Let's say you have a catalog. Let's put it here in the middle. Now, one of the new things that Canva has recently introduced is for the longest time, you had to make your own shadows, but now Canva allows for you to choose different types of shadows. So make sure you have your text box chosen. Then come up to effects, and you can choose different, you know, variances of shadows. I like the lift that looks the most like a shadow to me, and I make the intensity 100. I like it, a dark shadow. And so let's make it white, I'll make it stand out. So now from here, so that way everything is the same, you can come up here where it says duplicate. You can click duplicate. That way it has the same size, the same color, the same shadow texture. And so now we can say, uh, get my newsletter. And then we'll duplicate it again. Then maybe if you have specials, see my specials. Maybe you have a seasonal brochure. Right? And you can add as many things as you want. And you can also choose, if you have more links that are gonna fit, you can choose duplicate page and you can keep adding. It's just gonna make it a longer uh, form or a longer landing page. So in order to make it linkable or clickable, all you have to do is click on whatever it is, come up here to the link button, and then enter the link. That is it. And then you just hit apply and then get my newsletter, 
enter the link, see my specials, enter the link, all that jazz. And then if you want to, let's say I want to put my picture on here. Let's say I want a, actually it should be, yeah, in frames. This, and then you can upload a picture of yourself. I already have a ton of pictures that I like to use of mine. So there is that. And then you can double click on it and you can make it bigger, maybe towards just your face. Then I'm giving you all the things. Let's say that I want to link people to my Facebook. Go over to Elements and type in Facebook. It'll give you some icons that you can use. This. And then let's say we want Instagram. Let's bring it in. And so if you want to get them the same size, I like to move it around so I can see that top dotted line. That lets me know it's going to be the same as the top. And then I can drag it and it'll let me know when it meets that same size. Let's say YouTube. It's the same thing. I can come down and put it at the bottom of the Instagram one and bring it down and it'll match. So with these, same thing. Click on Facebook, come up here to link, put your Facebook link. If you want it to be your group, your profile, your page, Instagram, come up here and link, enter it in. So if you wanna move things around, like let's say there's a big gap, right? Down here at the bottom and it's you know not as big as up here. You can take your mouse and you can click and drag. It'll highlight everything so you can move all of it at once. You see I can drag that down a little bit. Now, here's where the magic comes in, okay? Instead of downloading, which is what most people will do, you can click on this little down arrow next to it and look at all these options. There's so many options that you can do. So with this, in order for it to become a landing page for us, literally a website, you type in website. Look, there it is. So website. And then for this, trust me, I've tried them all. You want scrolling. Okay. So scrolling, open website, and then here is your website. This is what it looks like on a computer. It's gonna look different than a cell phone. So let me, I'll copy this link. I'll send it to myself so that way you can see it on my cell phone. Okay, so I send it to myself in Messenger and that is what it looks like. Pretty awesome, huh? So you have complete control. And then if you have um, Rebrandly, and I will link my Rebrandly video up here and then down also in the description, uh, you can make it to where it is a branded link. So mine, for example, is KimberlyPolita.co backslash connect. And so that way it's very nice and neat and compact and pretty. And you can put that link anywhere. You can put it in your Facebook bio, your Instagram bio. I also create ones for my host. So it's the same concept. So I have shop my party, request a party pack, the group on Facebook, message my consultant, which is me, and the fall catalog. So if she has someone who isn't on Facebook that still wants to place an order or still wants to quote unquote party or support her party, she can just send this link to them, which is pretty awesome. So this is the link that I have in every party instead of having a bunch of links this is it and then down at the bottom it says connect with my consultant even though I made it right I made it to where it's coming from my host but you guys there are unlimited ways to do this or to use this so I created one for my new consultants coming in so that way I did have it in Flowdesk as a drip campaign so instead of that they're getting an instant text with all of the things that they need to consider to launch their business. So I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, put it down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.